Wait, so restart? I didn't want to be redundant and... Oh, I didn't want to be redundant. Jonathan Shane here. Some of y'all know me as the Keto Road, the other one, Youth Pastor of Vine Fellowship. Know what I'm saying? Uh, no, nah, but so I am not in Houston background. Well, it's an airport. They all look the same, but you get my point. Um, so um, I didn't check that part, but we just landed. 16 hour flight, super chill flight. Was next to a couple people. Um, this is going to be a very ministry focused vlog. So if this ain't your thing, I still encourage you to watch it. Um, so I got to share the, my testimony with a guy on, in the line. I got to pray for this family. James, my partner in crime, holding the camera right now. He got to do some wonderful work for the Lord. So it's already being a fruitful adventure. Super excited. I'm going to get to share foods with y'all, how to be keto in another world. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. So stay tuned. What's going on, guys? We're in the middle of Mandawi City, uh, getting some street food, keto style. Grandpa's this barbecue joint. They got chicken on a stick. We're eating out of bags. We're doing the real stuff. Let's dig in. Let's go. That's fire. So we just got done with the meeting to get ready to go and share the gospel with people uh, all this week. So I'm super excited about it. But real quick, I want to introduce you to my team. So we're going to go around the room and they're going to tell you one thing they love about serving Jesus. Let's go. Tell me your name. And Virgie. And what do you love about serving Jesus? Um, there's a lot of opportunities to share with kids and see them work it. Work I love it. it. I love it. My name is David. And what do you love about serving Jesus? That I get to see people's lives change. Hey, my name is James, and the thing I love about serving Jesus is seeing that people who have wrestled with such hard, hard things in life are free from that. What's up? What's your name? I'm Rosa Maria Calderon. And what do you love about serving Jesus? What do I what? Love, what do you love about serving Jesus? Everything. I love... I love food. <laughs> he's, he's, he's all I am. He is my being. He's, he's, mm. So I love serving the Lord. I love it. With all my heart and all my heart. What's your name? My name is Kendra Jerome. And what do you love about serving Jesus? Uh, the thing that I love about serving <laughs> Jesus is... Uh, um, the many ways that he changes people from the inside out. <laughs> My name is Susan. And what do you love about serving Jesus? Oh, well, um, I love to join the race um, to glorify God. Mm -hmm. I love it. My name is Naomi Rioya. And what do you love about serving Jesus? I love to serve Jesus Christ because he is my, my strength. And he gives me hopes always. I love it. What is up guys? Um, so I didn't actually think I was going to do any like journal video, like vernally. I don't know what it's called. Um, but I really want to talk about this. And I know this is on YouTube, but someone, I wanted to share it with somebody. Um, and for my church that watches this. So I just, it's our first day um, out and the, uh, and, and sharing the gospel and 17 people professed Christ, which is amazing. Um, we're gonna follow up with them, see if, this, if the decision was genuine, um, and then see like where we go from there. Um, but you know, it's it's one thing to see poverty on a magazine or on a Facebook photo, and everybody puts a bunch of sad emojis, and everybody thinks they feel bad. I'm not saying anybody doesn't, but and then it's another thing to actually see it, like actually walk in it and realize that there are adults, that there are kids living in this and it's all they know. And not only do they have no physical or no earthly hope, they have no spiritual hope. They have nothing. They, they live day to day just literally trying to survive. Um, I still haven't digested it yet. I've obviously, I, I think I'm gonna do another one of these towards the end of the week, but um, I'm just here to tell you that, man, if you think that no one out here needs help, you have no idea. Jonathan was speaking to you, his audience, um, and I happened to walk in the room and hear that, and I'm the, uh, I'm the missionary contact who brought him out here um, from Houston, and um, 
to hear him say that of his own accord, not knowing that I was going to step in front of his camera and talk to you as his audience, I am amazed and completely filled with joy to hear that. And uh, whenever you see this, whenever he, uh, whenever he uh, clips and hits publish and you witness, uh, I subscribe to him also. Um, at the Keto Road on Instagram, uh, YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> everything. Um, if you're a praying person, would you just stop, hit pause, space bar right now? Mm. And would you pray for the people of the Philippines? Yes. And whoever else is stirred by your heart and your affections in that time. And if you're not a praying person, and you are moved with compassion to see how you can help and be involved, reach out to Jonathan and talk to him. And he'll give you, and if you want to talk to me, um, I'd love that. I'd love to have that conversation. Yeah. Um, not to pitch and promote myself, but if it's any moment of compassion and joy that could be found in this opportunity, I want to give that to y'all. Um, Jonathan doesn't have to put this in the blog or any of that. Um, taking a shot here and just speaking to his audience and saying how proud I am of y'all, of him to y'all. You rock. Man. You won't. He won't understand this, but I put Goody Beats in my blog, and he shouted out his YouTube channel, so I don't mind. I am broken at your feet Like an alabaster child Every piece of who I am Laid before your majesty Oh, I will bow my life at your feet, at your feet. My lips so lost for words will kiss your feet. Will kiss your feet. Oh, the gravity of you. It draws my soul on to its knees. I will never be the same. I am lost and found in you. Oh, I will bow my life at your feet, at your feet, my lips. So lost for words, we'll kiss your feet, we'll kiss your feet. Oh, you're beautiful, oh, your majesty, oh, your majesty. Oh, Jesus, you're my king, you're my king. I bow my life at your feet and will sing. Oh, countless second chances we have been given at your cross. Oh, countless second chances we have been given at your cross. Oh, countless second chances we have been given at your cross. Seen countless second chances we have been given, given at your cross. Oh Lord. What's up, guys? Um, I hope you enjoyed the B-roll footage. Uh, it is day two right now. 
Um, so it, right now it's raining outside. Um, and I want you to take a look at it real quick. Now, while that doesn't seem like much in like in America, we can kind of like hold our umbrellas and we might get a little wet, but we can go home, get the you know twenty dollar towel we got from Walmart, dry off, and go to sleep, drink some hot chocolate, and enjoy our heater. I want you to think about those slums that you just saw. Okay, they can't. They live out of plywood, and there's ten people in one in one house. Generally, and that's and that's a small family sometimes. I knew one mom I met today that had eight kids, eight, and they're living trying to provide for their families and stuff. So, if there's anything, and this isn't to make people feel bad, it's to bring awareness, awareness to the fact that there are people out here that are hurting. And I know we're focused on like American health and American this, and I get that, and I want Americans to be healthy. I'm an American. But when we think for a second that we don't have every tool to make ourselves better, we're wrong. We choose not to be better because these guys don't have all the tools to make themselves better. This is not having all the tools to make yourself better. So just something to think about. I'll see you on the next clip. What is going on, guys? So as you can see, back at home, back in my office, um, I recorded one of these outros while I was in the Philippines, but I got home, got time to digest everything, figure out what my next move was, all of that. So, if you've made it through this whole video, I applaud you. Um, it was a long one, so if you're watching this right now, thank you so much for enjoying the entire clip, the entire video. Um, so, as you can see, I was really impacted by this trip, both from a spiritual standpoint, obviously, but a nutritional standpoint. It's something I didn't get to show a lot on the on the video because I just didn't vlog during the times that I did things like this, but I got to give a lot of nutritional education um, to both church members, uh, normal community members, and then some of the impoverished communities. Um, they're not overweight here, but they deal with a lot of hypertension and diabetes, a lot of diabetes, and everybody's telling them to eat more rice and just eat less fat. It's like a thing. Um, and so there's not a lot of good education and they don't have a lot of resources to be able to do that. And so I came back home with a true fire in my heart to help these people. Um, I had a hard time figuring it out, wrestling with it. When I first got here, you know, I was like sitting outside, I'd see it rain, I'd start crying because I started thinking about how they don't have roofs sometimes and all that. And it's been, it's been a very interesting, um, adjustment for me, um, but I've made it in and, and it is very clear to me that I am meant to help these people, um, both spiritually and physically and physically health and overall wellness and everything that I've been talking to you guys about, I feel like I need to be applying to them as well. I believe that 100% wholeheartedly that while half of my business is catered towards one-on-one -on -one coaching, the other half is going to be for this community. So with that in mind, um, I'm pleased to announce by the time you watch this video, I will have my Filipino Friday newsletter subscription open and ready to go. Basically, this newsletter subscription is a is, is a service that y'all will purchase for um, either $5 a month or $10 a month, depending on how much you want to spend. Um, there's no difference in what you receive. Uh, it says completely on your heart. I want to leave that up to you guys. Uh, so you can choose either $5, $5 a month or $10 a month. And with it, you get a newsletter, the Filipino Fr Friday newsletter. With that, you're going to get either a ketogenic recipe, probably Filipino focused. I, I say that on the page. It's a Filipino keto fried recipe. There's a lot of delicious Filipino foods. So being able to... Um, make those in a way that's keto friendly and give you all some more awesome options that probably aren't out there right now is definitely on my on my hindsight and then also sending y'all updates on what we're doing to get more people out there so y'all can see that y'all's um, y'all services and the money y'all spend on that service are getting directly used to impact them um, you know obviously this is my livelihood and so I got to pay bills but um, Anywhere from 50 to 75% of all the profits made from this newsletter subscription will get poured back into the Philippines uh, with community projects, 
um, and supporting missionaries that I really need out there to help communicate with people while I'm not there to set things up. So when I get there, I can host seminars and do all kinds of stuff. So I'm like super excited about this. Um, and like I said, I didn't want it to be a charity. I didn't want it to be a donation. I wanted it to be a service that I could offer you guys. Um, and in return, it just happens to be awesome that y'all get to support something that's really heavy on my heart and something that I plan on doing for the rest of my life. Um, so go check that out. Um, like the video. If you know somebody that would enjoy this video, share it with them. Like seriously, like I would really enjoy if y'all just blast this video. Um, I want people to know, you know, um, what's out there. And, and it's a very sobering thing. Um, so I love you guys. Have a great week. Thank you for watching this entire thing. Um, I hope it stirred your heart. Um, and it uh, gave you more gratitude. And yeah, like it did me. Uh, so thank you guys. I love y'all so much. Have a great, great day.